Uh, I am uh, up bright and early and I'm excited to finish this murder motel four panel drawing um, with watercolor and uh, I'm just going to put a few finishing touches on it to make the sort of isometric sterile environment a little dirtier and a little uh, give it a little more depth um, warm it up a little bit So this is basically done. Uh, I have, so each of the panels sort of fit together. Well, not sort of, they definitely fit together. Um, and um, there's little um, murder lines throughout the whole drawing of people who have been killed. Someone behind the, there's a counterfeiting operation going on in one of the rooms. Lots of stuff and um, there's little things like the details on this suitcase um, need to be added. Um, maybe a darker shadow on the door up here because it could kind of like fade from dark to, to light down there. Um, this floor here um, is a little too bright. I want to darken the, the, this parquet floor. Um, you can see how I kind of did it here, how it goes a little bit darker there and it lightens up there. It gives it a little more depth. And so that's what I'm gonna try and do now and then finish it up. Oh, I also have to add some um, dark um, sort of fades around the smoke to make it look less sort of pure white smoky, make it look a little smokier. Or this isn't finished, this is just has the base color of yellow on it. Stuff like that. It can be a little tricky working with these panels because you've got to sort of figure out, okay, if I want to do like a little bit of a fade here under this floor, I've got to see what else is on this side. This one, not so much, but like the floor here, this is a wall, this is a floor. Oh, this is actually a, a screw up with the whole drawing. This does, this is like sort of the only MC Escher doesn't make sense uh, Penrose type uh effect <laughs> if effect um that doesn't really make sense but it's sort of hidden so it's hard to really see uh so that's what happens when you don't work digitally you work in pen and ink and uh i guess bob ross would call that a happy accident so i'm gonna use i've kind of got a bunch of nice browns already mixed here for the floors and the walls um i'm gonna uh, let's see. So this I have to keep together. Oh, here I do it all in pen and ink with um, with uh, this ink, um, and I use this pen. But in situations like where I find little things that are missing, this is um, kind of a shitty pen to work with. But it is waterproof and it is light resistant and it's pigmented um, which means it won't fade over with with exposure to light like some other markers do like a sharpie would so um, this line is missing here on this one so there's going to be a lot of little mistakes that i can go and correct and it's not perfect whatever it's good enough that no one's ever going to notice and it's something that easy, it's easily fixable i don't have to wait for the ink to dry like i do with the um, original ink that I used on this. So I'm just gonna go and I've got, I think a number two Winsor Newton Kalinske Sable brush. I'll just get a little bit of a brown here. Maybe I'll darken it up here. I'll just put this whole panel a little bit darker and just add a little bit of dark there. Maybe a little bit of yellow 
just to keep it interesting and then sort of clean water over here and then just kind of join it together so that it looks a little bit like lights coming in from this way and fading out. So it looks a little, I wouldn't ever call this realistic, but I can do the same for this part. Kind of add a little dark there. And then while it's wet, sort of fade it down. So you add the pigmented watercolor and then the, so this too, um, I've got some darker over here on the side. Add a little bit of this, add some more water to it, keep adding water to it if it's too dark, and then sort of fade it down. You can get a little bit sloppy here. It's not gonna matter that much. You're just kind of going for, um, I don't know if atmosphere is a word. I wanna add like a little sort of quasi shadow under there. I've got some, let's see, I can just kind of make up colors as I go. It doesn't really matter that much. You don't have to be super accurate, just something to show that there's light around and um, there's a shadow under the desk. But sometimes when there's two lights in the room, there's two shadows, so you could do that. There's no rules. Um, you want it at this point less for somebody to say, hey, that shadow's not right, and just sort of not think about it and just sort of feel, oh yeah, that looks like a space that could exist. Um, maybe I'll add a little bit of dark there. And every once in a while, you can add a little bit of color too, like a little yellow in there, sort of fade it out. Um, this is when the point at which I wish I was done and it just seems to keep taking forever and ever to finish because I keep finding things like, this is all too homogenous, this color. So what I, so you can kind of add some, some transparent colors to it to kind of like bring one piece out in front of the other. So maybe I'll add a little bit of yellow, yellowish red to this piece and fade some of the others back in space a little bit by adding a little bit of cooler brown to this one. That way this suitcase looks like it's a little bit more in front of the others. There's more light on it maybe. I mean, it's, it's all very minor, um, pretty irrelevant type stuff, but that's kind of enough of this stuff adds up that it kind of helps to add sort of a feeling of depth is a kind of a strong word, especially when you're using drawing and isometric, but um, it just adds a little flavor to it. I don't know. Here, I'm gonna add a little bit of, a little bit of darker sort of oversaturated a little with more brown and then sort of fade it out. So it looks so just kind of like your eye just kind of tells you like, oh, that's a little bit deeper there. Maybe even add like a shadow under the lip of the elevator. This is, I don't know why, I don't know why I decided to make wood grain on the elevator. Maybe this is a very classy hotel. Um, but if I do that there, then I should probably do some here too to make it look like that's a real shadow. Yeah, something like that. Um, and then maybe I should, since this is a hotel, all of the elevators are the same, you would think, right? So I'll just add a similar type of a shadow situation here. And then the same lip here. Here's one of the murdered bodies that ended up sprawled out on one of the spiral staircase in the foreground. Um, you know, a lot of things like, well, this stair is behind that stair, so we can add a little bit of color here, 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 and maybe here, and it kind of fades out. And then when this dries, maybe add a couple more there. Um, yeah, something like that. Let's see, what else could I do on this one? This one I could, I think, this looks like it's sort of floating on top of the water. I wonder if I could 
not really sure how to deal with that. But maybe add like a darker shadow underneath this part of it. That seems to help a little bit. I, I, this is total fly by the seat of my pants type stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just kind of use intuition and a little bit of experience to figure out what I should do next. Um, what might help with depth perception. Oh, this is white still. So I usually have for these flower pots, I kind of like the terracotta look. So I have a base of yellow behind it. And once that's dry, I'll add some like maybe pink and orange to kind of give the illusion of terracotta. Oh, this rocking chair has no shadow under it. So I just go, there's so, well, it has a subtle shadow. So many little things to go over, over and over. Here's a body that was murdered uh, in pieces, I guess. Uh, pizza on the bed, oh yeah, let's, should we, I kind of like having the chair yellow. It's sometimes hard and I, I forget that I want things to be yellow. Because yellow is a base color for so many things that I do. Because um, I really like how the yellow and the purple and the greens interact. Like that's sort of the theme for. Here's a. Here's another. Like the yellow, purple, and greens. I kind of like that throughout the whole thing. So I'm gonna keep that going.